Welcome learners. Taking forward our Prime Minister's mission and vision, we have developed this intuitive course to train you in various sections of iron and steel industry. Before beginning your training for the special qualification pack of iron and steel industry and covering every national occupation, let us warm you up with a small activity. Answer these simple questions to begin with. We hope that you were able to find answers to these simple questions. In this session, we will discuss the iron and steel industry. By the end of this session, you will be able to summarize the highlights of the iron and steel industry, demonstrate the awareness of development in the industry, detect the employment opportunities in the Indian iron and steel industry. India is not only the second largest steel producer, it also stands second in steel consumption in the world. The growth of steel sector in India has been driven by the availability of raw materials like iron ore, coal and economic labour. Crude steel production capacity of India reached 142.24 million tonnes per annum with the growth of 7.6% annually. Indian iron and steel industry emerges around 0.65 to 0.7 million direct and around 1 million indirect people for iron and steel and other related operations. Let us understand about the various types of iron and steel industry. The iron and steel industry in India is separated into two divisions, integrated producers and secondary producers. Integrated steel plants they are generally referred to plants that convert ore to iron, then to seal, and further on to the other semi finished or finished products. Some of the major integrated seal plants in India are A. Tata Seal, located at Jamshedpur, Jharkhand, and Kalinganagar, Odisha. B. Seal Authority of India Limited, SAIL, having five units as mentioned below. Bilai Seal Plant, BSP in Chhattisgarh. Bukaro Seal Limited, BSL in Jharkhand. Durgapur Seal Plant, DSP in West Bengal. Roodkela Seal Plant, RSP in Odisha. Isco Seal Plant, ISP in Bumpur, West Bengal. C. Rashtriya Ispat Nigam Limited, RINL, or Vizag Seal at Andhra Pradesh. D. JSW Seal Limited in Karnataka and Tamil Nadu and at Dolby Maharashtra. E. Jindal Seal and Power Limited, JSPL at Angul, Odisha, Patratu, Jharkhand, Rajgarh, Chhattisgarh. F. AM Oblique NS. A joint venture between ArcelorMittal and Nippon Seal at Hazira, Gujarat. G. Electro Seal Seal Limited, ESL, at Bokaro, Jharkhand, under Vedanta Group. Now let us understand what secondary seal plants are. The secondary seal sector is composed of small seal plants which produces seal in electric furnaces using scrap and sponge iron. They produce both mild seal and alloy seal of given specifications. Several secondary seal producers operate in many seal units throughout India 
and contribute to about 45% of India's total steel production. They are located strategically near iron ore and coal belts and have mini blast furnaces and sponge iron making facility and converting scrap into steel in electric induction or arc furnace. They cast and roll to make semi or finished steel products and cater to the local and regional demands. Almost all of them have less than 1 million tons per annum capacity. Some secondary steel producers are A. Rashmi Group in West Bengal B. Sham Steel Industries in West Bengal C. Jaiswal Nico Group in Raipur D. Atibir Industries in Jharkhand, etc. Some of the major iron and seal of India are A. Tata Iron and Seal Company, Tisco. Tisco is the oldest iron and seal plant of India. It was established in 1907 at Sakchi in Singbhum district of Jharkhand. It started producing pig iron in 1911 and seal in 1912. Tisco is a leading global seal company with an annual crude seal production capacity of 19.6 million tons per annum. B. Seal Authority of India Limited, Sale. After independence, three integrated seal plants, the Bilai Seal Plant, Chhattisgarh, Durgapur Seal Plant, West Bengal, Rudkela Seal Plant, Odisha, were set up by the Government of India, each of 1 million tons per annum capacity under supervision of Hindustan Seal Limited, HSL. On January 1973, a holding company named Sale was incorporated and that took over these three plants and also Bukaro Seal Limited and Indian Iron Seal Company, Isco Banpur, that is renamed as Isco Seal Plant, ISP. Isco Banpur is one of the oldest private seal maker in India before independence. Now Sale has five integrated iron and seal plants in its fold. Sale also has other non-integrated seal industries like Salem Seal Plant, SSP, producing Salem Stainless. Alloy Seal Plant at Durgapur, Visveswar Raya Iron and Seal Plant, VISP, and Maharashtra Electro Smelt Limited, MEL. Sale has an annual crude seal production capacity of 21.4 million tons per annum from 12.8 million tons per annum after modernization and expansion of all plants. C. RINL or Vizag Seal, Rashtriya Ispat Nigam Limited, RINL, is the first shore based integrated iron and seal plant owned by Government of India, located at Vishakhapatnam, Andhra Pradesh. Commissioned initially in 1982 as 3 million tons per annum plant for value-added seal, now operates as a 7.3 million ton per annum capacity plant. D. JSW Seal Limited. It is one of the leading private sector plant based in multi-locations like Dolby, Maharashtra, Karnataka and Tamil Nadu, having a total of 18 million tons per annum installed capacity it caters to the needs of South India, operating from six locations in India. E. Jindal Seal and Power Limited, GSPL, is one of the most modern seal making plants located in Angul in Odisha, Patratu in Jharkhand, and Rajgarh in Chhattisgarh, with installed capacity of 8.6 million tons per annum, having a wide range of products, and is focusing the markets in North and East India. F. AM Oblique NS. ArcelorMittal Nippon Seal India Limited is a joint collaboration of two large seal making global players. A high technology intensive seal plant at Gujarat with both based facility having preparation of raw material pellets at Old Rich Odisha and transporting this through water based transport along the coast. It has a total of 9 million tons per annum in soil capacity. G. ESL Seal Limited an integrated iron and seal plant being commissioned at Bukaro under Vedanta Group is having the latest state-of-the-art technology to produce long seal products and ductile iron pipes. It has a capacity of 2.2 million tons per annum in phase 1 and 5 million tons per annum in phase 2. The total employment in the seal industry is more than 2 million. That includes both direct and indirect employment. Many auxiliary industries have also developed in the area surrounding the iron and seal plant. Such industrialization of backward area has created more employment opportunities for local unemployed persons. 
The growth of steel industry in India is tremendous and steady, which is supported by many Indian government initiatives and is definitely a boost for the future growth of the Indian steel industry. Let us have a quick recap before we proceed to the next topic. After studying this unit, the participants will be able to discuss the highlights of iron and steel industry, demonstrate the awareness of the development activities in the industry, and identify the employment opportunities in the iron and steel it industry. All the technology and expertise that goes into the making of steel, the process is similar to cooking. Iron ore is the raw ingredient needed to make steel. This has to be blended with fluxes consisting of limestone, dolomite, and dunite. The blended raw materials are sintered, a technology that permits the use of fine iron ore particles that were once considered waste. In coke ovens, coal is processed into coke to make it free of impurities. The stamp charging technology enables the use of lower quality coal for coke production. The blended raw materials are then sent to the blast furnace. The iron is smelted by blasting hot air and gases through the raw materials charged in the furnace. After draining the impure slag, the molten hot metal is tapped from the furnace and purified into steel in the LD converters. Here, in the pear-shaped furnace, the hot metal is refined for about 40 minutes. A lance is then lowered, which blows a high-pressure stream of oxygen that separates the impurities. There are two steel making facilities, the LD1 and LD2. The next step is continuous casting. This involves pouring liquid steel into molds that form billets or slabs. These days at Tata Steel, almost all the steel is continuously cast and then dispatched to two different routes for finishing. The billets are processed into long products such as wire rods and bars. The slabs are processed into various types of flat products. The reheated slabs are fed to a roughing mill and rolled out to make them thinner. They are then coiled and uncoiled before being fed into the finishing mill. The reduced strip is now more than one quarter of a mile long. After being cooled by a spray cooling system, the thin strip is recoiled and readied for dispatch. The prime feed to the cold rolling are the coils from the hot strip mill. Here they are further reduced in thickness and given the special attributes according to individual customer requirements. First the steel is cleaned and made more malleable or ductile through pickling and annealing. At the skin pass mill, the coils are further tempered to improve the finish or texture of the sheets. The sheets are now smoother, shinier and flawless. To stop corrosion, the strip is dipped into a bath of molten zinc in order to give it a uniform protective lining through the hot dip galvanizing process. Globally, automakers and white goods manufacturers are at present using galvanized and galvanized steel. That now let us complete an activity and a small test to check your knowledge. In this activity, you will have to name all the processes involved in steel making in the correct order. After 30 seconds, the correct order shows up. One, coke making. Two, basic oxygen furnace. Three, electric arc furnace. Four, smelting reduction. Five, sinter plant. Six, casting. Seven, direct reduced iron. Eight, blast furnace system. Nine, rolling mills. We hope that you were able to name them in the correct order. 
let's move to the test. Question 1. Iron and steel industry is an example of which types of industries? Option A. Basic industries. Option B. Consumer industries. Option C. Cooperative industries. Option D. Joint sector industries. Correct answer is basic industries. Question 2. Name the marketing body through which all public sectors are undertaking marketing this year. Option A. Hail. Option B. Sale. Option C. Tata Seal. Option D. MNCC. Correct answer is Sale. Question 3. Which is the only private iron and steel industrial city in India? Option A. Bhilai. Option B. Turgat. Option C. Jamshedpur. Option D. Salem. Correct answer is Jamshedpur. Question 4. How tall, approximately, is a blast furnace? Option A. 40 meters. Option B. 4 meters. Option C. 4000 meters. Option D. 400 meters. Correct answer is 40 meters. Question 5. What are the three raw materials used in making iron? Option A. Iron ore, coal and coke. Option B. Iron ore, coal and slag. Option C. Coal, coke and limestone. Option D. Iron ore, coal and limestone. Correct answer is iron ore, coal and limestone. Question 6. What is the name of the process used to make steel from iron? Option A. The basic carbon process. Option B. The basic oxygen process. Option C. The acidic oxygen process. Option D. The casting process. Correct answer is basic oxygen process. With this, you have successfully completed this first module. All the best for the coming ones.